Have you ever created a new customer in SIN 7? I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, inventory software expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new customer in SIN 7. First of all, up in the top left hand corner, you'll see these three little guys and the word CRM or the acronym CRM pop up. That stands for Customer Relationship Management or Contact Relationship Management. SIN7 puts all their suppliers, vendors, and customers right in there. So we're going to click there. That brings us to a list of all the customers and all the suppliers and even some of our own information, our own locations. See, we have a, a branch here. So we're going to click on this button, Create New Customer. That brings us to a blank screen with a lot of blank fields to fill out. New customer, contact details, accounts, delivery address, and even some, some settings, some classifications. <coughs> so this screen actually does have some CRM components, and we're going to look at those too. So, but first of all, let's go ahead and create our new customer. This new customer is going to be Coles. First name, we're going to make something up. Sue Anderson sounds good. Put her phone number in there and the office number. Just keep going. A title. So this is a nice field here. We can make the customer active or inactive. And the contact type field only gives us one option because we're on the new customer screen. We have pricing rules we can fill out. We'll say this is a wholesale customer, so they'll get the wholesale pricing. And we're going to make this the parent company. So we're not going to give it a store. This will be like an office, corporate headquarters that we'll send bills to. And we'll leave freight service empty because we're not going to ship anything here. We're just going to uh, send the bill to this area. <clears throat> this is a nice little feature up here. This um, keeps a, a record of the history of the customer. So we can add a timestamp here and say uh, became a new prospect today. Most customers start out as prospects. We haven't closed the deal with them yet. They're still a prospect. And look, the stage down below has different stage settings. Now there's another screen that allows us to customize these stages if you want to go to the settings area. So we can begin this customer as a prospect. So let's talk about these fields here. What are these? Accounts. This says the QuickBooks Zero status not imported. So this keeps a record of whether or not this has been imported into QuickBooks. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I've connected SIN7 to QuickBooks Desktop, and that's okay. It's never going to say Desktop here. Uh, it still means the same thing. It still means Desktop, which whatever you connect it to, QBO, Zero, or Desktop. If there's any problem with uh, sending this to QuickBooks, it'll show up right here. So this keeps a tally to let us know if it has actually gone over to QuickBooks. So terms, let's put in our terms. We have a list of terms. I'll just say net 30, alternative GL account. So in order to connect this customer to a specific GL account, you have to create an item in QuickBooks for on the item list that is mapped to that GL account. And, and if we put in an alternative GL account here, it'll override that. Um, so if we, we want to put this specific customer in a specific account, like a specific income account in QuickBooks, we can do that. You can go to the item list, create a specific item that this customer will use every time that it will show up on the invoice and that specific uh, invoice will always be this income account. Pretty nice feature, awesome feature there. Tax status, let's say are they taxable or non-taxable? This is a list that we can set up under the settings screen as well to select their uh, tax status. 
So if they're wholesale, then they're going to be non-taxable, right? So we'll say none there. And <coughs> if they're wholesale, they should have a tax exempt number. So we'll, we should put that there. I'll just make something up for right now, I'll throw something in there. And then if um, they have terms, we may want to give them a credit limit and max out those terms. So we can do that right here. And then also their prospect. Um, this doesn't really apply yet, but let's say they get behind in their payments and we want to put them on hold. A really nice uh, feature here to put problem customers on hold. So then let's put in some billing information. Billing company could be the franchise owner. In this case, I'm just going to say it's Kohl's. <clears throat> and then we've got the accountant's name. We'll say the accountant's name is Betsy Jones. And then she has her own phone number and her own email address. Kohl's.com, there we go. Then we put in a delivery address and that delivery address is going to be the billing address because this company here is only going to be uh, the billing company. So now let's create a store for this company. We'll click save and back, then create new customer. And this customer is also Kohl's, first name, then down here, since this is a child company, it's an actual store, we can put in the store number. We'll put in 634. <clears throat> and we're going to build to the parent company. So we'll check that box and then select the parent company we're going to build to. Okay, there's the parent company we're going to build to and their billing address is already filled out. Then we just put in the store address. Now this is an actual Kohl's store address here locally. Four, nine, four, zero, zero, three, nine, four, zero, three. Okay, so that's how we create multiple addresses for one store, is each address is a separate contact and you can have multiple contacts at the same address and the additional addresses can also be prospects as well so thanks for joining us today at creating a new customer in sin 7.